Hi guys, welcome to the first edition of Peer to Peer. Peer to Peer is a discussion based on our day-to-day -day social issues. My name is Ifia Owusu and I have here with me two beautiful ladies, Linda and Nanaya. So today's discussion is about when is the right time to leave your parents' house. So I'll start with Linda. When is the right time to leave your parents' house? Um, the right time is relative, in my opinion. Everyone has um, struggles of their own. It depends on what actually someone is going through at a particular time. That is when the person decides to leave home. So um, somebody is leaving home because their parents has to, are too strict. They want freedom, so they leave home. Somebody leaves home because they want to go and make a living for themselves so that they come and take care of their parents. Right. That's why they leave home. Okay. Some others leave home when they are married. So in my opinion, if everything is fine at home and, you know, financially everything is fine, there's no pressure. I feel like the right time to leave home is when you are married. Yes, in my opinion. But there are lots of people out there too. There's no pressure their family is okay, <laughs> they are not married, mm -hmm. but they are out there. What do you say to those people? There's always a reason why you are out. Why are you out there? There's always something. You don't just get up and leave your parents home because what? Nobody is chasing you out of the house. You understand? Because that's, they that's, want to hustle. They want to so hustle. So that is a reason why they've left home, because they want to hustle. But otherwise, if everything is fine and you know there's no pressure you are you're living your life you're not paying rent you're not paying any utility bills but so why are you leaving home then because that comes with a lot of responsibility i don't right, think anybody right. just wants to go through it for no reason you okay. understand okay. yes okay. okay nanaya what do you think um for me yeah uh, i'm going to do this out of um experience okay right, right. i'm going to say all the things i'll say out of experience the thing is i left home for two reasons right the first one being um pressure from the house okay and then the second one is i was working okay i am still working in a car okay and i used to live in tema Every day going back and forth. There are times when I close at dawn okay. based on what I'm doing. It's I found it a bit um dangerous for me. Okay. Yes, because at a point in time I nearly died on the motorway. So I because of that I decided to move to Accra and then do what I do. So that's why I left home. Okay, okay so would you and be okay? And I wouldn't say um, being living um, with your parents or being out of your parents' house depends on um, de depends on one what you uh, what you think or um, how you feel. If I feel like moving out of my parents' house for no reason, no no pressure, nothing, I can just go. Uh -huh. And if I feel like staying there too, so it, it doesn't necessarily come with a reason for me wanting to do what I what I, I've decided to do. So would you be cool if out of the blue your kid just wakes up and goes like, Mommy, I want to leave home without any tangible reason or without any reason at all? Um no one gets up wanting to do um, whatever they want to do. Exactly. So, there's, so there, there's probably a reason which <laughs> he or she if wouldn't. Want to. That's what if I feel like you doing feel like... it, so definitely I would want to find out why do you want to move? Or so you just... Do, uh -huh. okay, so why do, why... If she doesn't give me, he or she doesn't give me any good reason as to why she uh, he or she wants to move, I just allow her be <laughs> or him be. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Sometimes I just feel like um, it's not always the right thing to do when uh, to pressurize your kids or to do uh, to allow your kids do what you feel like they should do. Sometimes you just have to let them do them. Sometimes you just have to allow them do them. Says Nanaya. Linda also said that oh. if. You are if if you've come of age and it's time for you to get married, then you can decide 
to leave your parents' house. So we go back to Nanaya. What if your kid is underage? Let's say your kid is around um, 17, but let's say um, he or she completed school early, as early as 16 years, and now he or she is working, and she feels like, okay, mommy, where we live is far. We live in Tema, and I work in Osu. Please, can I stay closer to my work? Nope. <laughs> No, because you're underage. No. At least. 18 is not underage. No, she said um, 16 or 17. No, she said 18, right? Yeah, I said, you seven, said, I said 17. Seven, but let's okay, say 17 yeah. is underage. <laughs> so what, so if, what, if, what if your kid is around 18? If my kid is, under, is, is around 18 and I feel like he or she is responsible enough to be on her own, I will just allow her or him. That if you are if you are ready and willing to pay your rent, yes. But as a pair, as a responsible, okay, okay, yes, okay, okay. But at eighteen years, um, in my opinion, at that point, you are really vulnerable, especially if you are a female child. For a male child, I believe to some extent, um, you know, I'm not trying to bring any gender inequality or anything in this conversation, but. I believe for a, for a female child that young, you are very vulnerable. I don't think you've seen life so much to say you want to live on your own. How are you earning a living? How are you going to be paying for your bills? That means you have to work. What happened to school? You know, what, what kind of work are you going to be doing at the age of 18? Right. That's when social vices set in. So I, I just think this conversation is, it's a bit, um, you know, for the for the for the older generation and for somebody who is responsible and then can pay their bills, do all these things on their own. And I feel that time is when you are ready to be married. That's when you are ready to move out for for a female child. Okay, <laughs> but I use the word responsible. Mm -hmm. Yes, responsible in the sense that. Um, you growing up, I've right. seen um how you handle the uh, how do you, how you handle things, right? How you carry yourself and all that. Okay. So before I allow you to go, I will take all those things into consideration. I know if um in terms of being a female, okay. there's the um, that's when they are vulnerable because people will try playing on their intelligence and all that. But then depending on the person's upbringing and how the person, like I said earlier, how the person carries him or herself. Then you know, um, you can allow her to go or you can, you can still allow her to be under you, but then, um, take off certain, uh, restrictions. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So guys, Linda says you can only leave your parents' house when it's time for you to get married. And Nanaya also said, if you are responsible enough, I mean, that is the right time. So guys, this comes back to you. When is the right time to leave your parents' house? Share your comments with us and follow TVXYZ Ghana on all social media handles. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>